Hey folks, Brian Bischoff here, your favorite veteran at Sells Homes, and still we're talking smart devices, and today I'm going to be covering how smart devices save you money. Before I jump in and start talking about this little smart device right here, a smart thermostat, I'm going to ask if you can leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up, or even better, a share. I truly appreciate the support. So, a smart thermostat, how is it going to save you money? Um, before I touch on that, let me just throw out here, I think every home should have a smart thermostat. And here's the reasons why. One, it's programmable just like every other programmable device. But where the programmable thermostat comes short or falls short is we live in the Chicagoland area. Just last week, we were in the 80s. Come the weekend, we're in the 40s. Almost a 40 degree temperature change in the course of the last few days. Unless you're constantly in front of that thermostat changing your program to make sure you know, your heat or air conditioning is set appropriately, you're basically throwing money out the window. But with this device, you are connected with your smart device and when it's 80 degrees during the day, you can, and you're not home, you can turn that air up. And as it comes to 40 degrees at nighttime, which happens in the Chicagoland area, you can turn the heat down, which a programmable de program device is just going to go based on the schedule you've already put in. So you're just with that, you're saving money. However, let's say you go away for the weekend or maybe you go on vacation for the week and when you leave you know the weather is supposed to be x degrees and when you're gone you realize that now it's 90 degrees outside or 40 degrees outside and based on where you have your thermostat program it's going to be running at where you thought the temperature was going to be so you may be uh, wasting a lot of energy and which is going to cost you money because you're not there you can't change it but with this you can be in Florida you can be pretty much anywhere anywhere in the world and control this another way this thing can save you money is let's say you're on vacation it's winter here in Chicago temperatures are below freezing you set the house to 62 degrees before you leave and when you're on vacation, you look at your smart device and you see that it's saying it's 40 degrees in your house. What does that probably mean? It probably means your furnace is not working. That gives you the opportunity to call a neighbor, call a family member and say, hey, my furnace is not working. Can you call somebody, get a HVAC guy out there and have it repaired? instead of you coming back from vacation to frozen pipes and water damage everywhere. So this thing could save you in, from coming home to disaster. Now, let's talk about some of the nice features this device offers and convenience it offers. I don't know how many of you live in homes that have, say, hot spots or cold spots. And you can never get the temperature to where you want it. Uh, let's say if you live in a two-story home and the master bedroom in the summer is always hot and in the winters it's always cold, well they have a device that can pair up with this and you can put it in your room and this will run according, accordingly to the temperature in that room. So the air is not kicking off too soon or the heat is not kicking off too soon because it's regulating to the temperature in that room. So no more cold or hot nights when you're sleeping. Also, another nice little convenience thing is this can pair with some of the smart uh, speakers out there and you can have the smart speaker either turn the heat up or turn the, the air down when you're to, to a comfortable range for you. Um, I'm going to really quick open up the box, show you what's inside. Uh, most of these smart devices are really easy to install. I sort of expecting the same thing with this device. 
So let's see what we what comes in the box. I broke it before I even opened it. No. Uh, so you have your thermostat. Uh, some instructions. Your wiring mount to your wall. A screwdriver and some screws. And let's see what else we got in here. Uh, and there's another uh, wiring bracket for your wall as well. It's a cover up probably for the pre-existing thermos that you may have there. And that's pretty much it. There's gonna be, with this, there's gonna be some wires that are coming out of your pre-existing thermostat out of your wall. Sort of color, co co uh, color coordinate with the numbers, or no, I'm sorry, the letters on here with the color of wires coming out of the wall to your pre-existing thermostat. Really easy to install. It's low voltage, so you don't have to worry about getting shocked from 120 volts. Um, this just sort of clips on. It's probably an easy push the button in the sink or either you download the app and sync it to your Wi-Fi network and you should be ready to go. Um, I really think this is a device, if you're gonna go smart, the first device you should probably purchase. EPA did a study, smart homes can save anywhere from 10 to 30%. Let's say you're spending $100 a month, that's really, really low, I understand that. $100 a month over the course of 12 months for your utilities, that's $1,200. If you're saving 10 to 30%, you're saving anywhere from $120 to $360 a year. That's pretty impressive. Times that by five, you're paying for this device, you know, two or three times. And like I said, I'm only using 100 hours a month. You and I know that we're paying a lot more for our utility expenses. Once again, I'm Brian Bischoff, your favorite better net sells homes. And I appreciate you hanging out, listening to me talk about smart devices. And I, I'm gonna ask you once again, if you can give me a like, a share, or a thumbs up. And I'll leave a link down below to this device and you can read up more about it. All right. Have a good one and I'll see you soon. Thanks.